Hi, this is Miles Maria, the soldier of Mary. Today, just quickly looking at the marriage of Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of Great Britain. He married uh, Carrie Simmons in a wedding service at Westminster Cathedral. And apparently, he has been divorced twice already. And people are wondering, how is it possible that he was married? And also, his fiance or his wife now, I believe she was married previously as well. How could these two individuals be married in the Catholic Church? And what significance does this have? What does this tell us about Boris Johnson? Well, the response to the first question is, well, the obvious answer is... Boris's previous two marriages were non, null and void. If you are a Catholic and you attempt to get married in a registry office, it's not valid. If you're a Catholic and you try and get married in a registry office or in a Church of England or on a beach somewhere, it's not valid. A Catholic is bound by canon law to get married in a Catholic church. And Boris's previous weddings, however many he had, were simply invalid, and the same can be said for his wife. The process of getting married in the Catholic Church requires you to prove that you are free to marry. It's not one rule for the rich, one rule for the poor. If Boris had been married previously in a Catholic Church, he couldn't have got married this time. He would be considered married to the woman he married in the Catholic Church. But it just so happens he never married validly. He was always invalidly married, living in sin up to this point. And the same can be said for his wife if she had been married previously, which I think she had been, or civilly married previously, which I think she had been. But what does this tell us about Boris Johnson? Well, it tells us that Boris Johnson went to confession because in order to get married validly in the Catholic Church, you need to go to confession. You need to be in a state of grace at the time that you get married. And certainly that is that is that is not a requirement for the validity of the sacrament but for the fruit of the sacrament you have to go to confession first so boris johnson will have gone to confession and his wife they will have gone to confession prior to getting married so hopefully at least for a day we have a prime minister who's in the state of grace presuming that he made a good and honest confession second thing that's really interesting is his marriage in the catholic church signifies that boris johnson has returned from heresy because boris johnson sought confirmation in the church of england while he was a teenager while he was at eton he received well he didn't receive anything because anglican orders are null and void he attempted to receive the sacrament of confirmation and in doing that he signaled although he was only a teenager it was a publicly signifying that he was leaving the catholic faith but by going to confession and by being married validly in the catholic church he's now signifying to the world that he is now a catholic and intends to live according to the catholic faith and this is really interesting because a lot of people had wondered can we have a catholic who is prime minister tony blair famously only became a catholic formally upon leaving office as prime minister although i understand that in law there's nothing to present a prevent a catholic actually being the prime minister of great britain the monarch the monarch cannot be a catholic because the monarch is apparently the head of the church of england on earth but a catholic can technically be prime minister of england but it does create some difficulties because it means that boris johnson as prime minister is involved in the selection of the so-called bishops of the so-called anglican church so we will now have a situation where a practicing catholic prime minister at least for today a practicing catholic prime minister is choosing the heretical non-valid bishops in the church of england or at least he has to present i think a couple of names to some episcopal appointments commission of the church of england it's going to be really unusual situation for a catholic to be choosing the so-called bishops of another religion well, this news, I think, is really good news because it shows that a soul has made a good confession and is desiring to turn a new leaf, turn over a new leaf. At least that's the best interpretation of it. And that this man, 
after living in sin for many years, has now returned to the practice of his Catholic faith and is living, at least today, according to the teaching of the Catholic Church. Congratulations to you, Boris Johnson and Carrie Johnson. May you have a happy and holy marriage together, growing in the state of grace and living in accordance with the teachings of Christ and the one true church that he founded. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.